Hi, I'm Chilton Webb, and this is a little tech demonstration of the current version of Glycon over Oculus Link. And before I get started, I want to stress uh, the way that the progression of these uh, releases is going to go is I've got the Quest version done, the Link and the Rift version is going out in a few minutes, and then later today, if all goes well, the Vive version goes out with a huge tracker update and a bunch of other cool stuff that's exclusively for uh, the HTC Vive, uh, well, the, the trackers and Steam VR. Um, earlier today, it looks like Apple has discontinued support for the Mac platform on Steam, which is unfortunate because we supported that and it worked pretty well until pretty recently. Um, that sucks, but that's what it is. So there will be no more Mac versions of Glycon going forward. Um, and uh, as for today's release, we're going to support Quest. Um, that version's already done, and it's going out an, an, a slightly updated version with some of the new UI stuff you'll see in a minute. It's going out. And then we're going to do uh, Rift, and then that version's going out. And then we're going to do the Steam VR version, which supports Windows Mixed Reality, uh, Oculus Quest in Steam, and of course, HTC Vive and multiple trackers. So without further ado, we're going to get to it. Now, this is the Quest version. If I wanted to, I could pop this open and I could do some um, work here in the Quest and I'm going to try to record, I'm going to try to record both of these and kind of overlay them later um, so you can see exactly what that looks like. So right now, here I am in the Quest and based on the joystick movements, I can do different finger gestures. Um, in all versions, if you now move the joysticks together, like, like this direction, move this one, this one, and this one, this way, you get the voxel editors that let you um, draw in 3D space. And pulling back so it makes a fist will uh, create the eraser that lets you erase things. And then on the right hand, pushing forward gives you a laser pointer that lets you interact with a few things. But in all versions now, we have a single white cursor that is in the middle of the screen, or it's actually at, it's at, it's at the tip of your finger. And that's what you use to interact with pretty much everything in the uh, Glycon user interface. And if you want the boxes and, and lasers to go away, you push outward on both hands so that it does the jazz hands and that uh, hides everything except the cursor. To pull up the HUD you're on, the, on the Quest, you're gonna push um, the, uh, I think it's the, what is it, the X button. It's the lower button on the left controller. Okay, so that part's done. I, I'm, I'm, I wanted to show you that um, this actually uh, can work with the Quest that easily. Now we're gonna hop into uh, the Link. And the way Link works is you need a special cable, you plug it into your Quest, and uh, then you pull up the Oculus software. We'll do that now. And we're in. Now, as you can see here on the screen, this is actually a pretty high quality version compared to that 1024 version that you saw earlier. And that's because this is being done on the GPU. So when you first come into Glycon, you see uh, this big poster board over here. And on your version, these uh, the, the shipping version, this uh, HUD here is hidden. It basically says the same thing as this. And what you want to do is you want to use this one button on your controller, or you can use a pinch gesture. And when you do that, then this uh, HUD comes up. And if you click uh, and hold down when it first appears, it'll let you move that HUD around. And if you're wondering what this looks like from my perspective, I can go into my VR camera here and I can show you that. So this is what I see, okay? And I wanna go to my third person cam, which, uh, I'm sorry, the mirror cam is what I'm looking for here, which should look like, okay. This is my third person cam, that's right. These two are mislabeled in this demo, uh, I will, the shipping version will have this correct. Okay, so as you can see here, this is what is reflected in my mirror. So if I move my left hand or right hand, you'll see my right hand moving there. Um, so we've, we're basically set up. I just want to walk you through really quickly some of the heads up displays options. Um, so hopefully this will make a little more sense when you get your hands on this. So all these buttons here, you just drag the, the white button across them to interact with them. Everything now has one of these slick new little buttons. Every single part of it. You don't have to click on anything, you can just move your hand through it. 
In some cases, like if you're trying to set up the clone, and a clone is basically where you can play back an animation on another clone and then interact with it. If you want to summon the clone and put him somewhere in the room, you can use the controller much more precisely than your hand. So in this case, Oculus Quest users, I highly recommend you grab your controllers and just use that for this part. Okay. And if, but if you want to hide him, you can just go in here and click the button here to toggle him like that. Uh, so this is a very exploratory kind of environment. Um, first off, we have this, uh, like this is our voxel editor that lets you draw stuff into the environment. If you want to uh, block out where important things are in your room so you don't stumble over them, or if you want to create uh, VR sets that you want to export, you can do that right here. It's very easy to use. Uh, basically, you just build like you're in Minecraft, and then boom, you're, you're done, and you can throw that out there uh, as a... You, you can throw out your, your creations as a model. You can bring into your game environment or 3D environment or whatever, what have you. Um, so there are a bunch of options here for you to explore all kinds of IK settings and scale settings. I mean, you can make your dude uh, really small like this. And uh, we'll go to that camera. Hey, help, help, I'm down here on the floor. And you, of course, you, you click and drag the, uh, the UI again, and you can bump that back up. Uh, where'd it go? This is avatar scale over here. Do, 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 do. Okay, and now reset the room. Every time I summon the HUDs up display, it will reset and recalibrate my character here in the room. If I want to, for example, stick one foot on the floor, I can do that. I can go right here, right leg. I can click over here to footprint, and I can put it on the floor. Now, as you can see, my body, if you're, um, you can't see it there. Let me show you what that looks like. In VR mode, you'll notice that your body is obscured when you look down like that. Well, that's not great. So what you can do, is going here to the third part. There we go. Uh, you can click this button right here. Oops, let me pull that back up again. This little eyeball. You pull the trigger to some to, to activate this one, and this is going to hide your entire body. So you're invisible now to yourself. You're visible in the camera. I mean, in the uh, in in the mirror, and you can still see the little dot. But now you can more accurately place your feet. So if I wanted to go in here and place my foot right here. And I wanted to place my, my other foot right here. And I did not want my feet to move, like if I'm on a surfboard or something. That's exactly how I'd set that up. It's really easy to use. Oh, I got to put this on footprint. <laughs> That's why it wasn't tracking. So I'm going to do like this. OK, so as you can see, uh, that's what that looks like. And then uh, when I'm done with that, I should go back in and turn my body back on so I can see it again. Okay. So now this is basically how you edit everything. You can set up all kinds of IK settings. Uh, you can set things like how much um, stiffness there is when you move your arms uh, versus, versus not. You can set, uh, there we go, spin rotation. Does a thing. Play around with this. See if you find something that you really like. Um, I tried to use general settings for this that um, make it really easy to, to work with. Um, so anyway, play through this and, and see what you got. Chest to hands rotation, I think that's the one I'm looking for in this case. That should keep my chest positioned while I move my hands around. Well, this... Well, anyway, you play around with it, find settings you like, that kind of thing. Uh, then you go into live mode, right? And in live mode, this is where you do a, mo a bulk of your um, actual animation recording. And so all I have to do to start recording something, some motion, cap motion capture is I hit the start record button uh, and then I, I do my recording. Now there's also a button you can hit here on the UI that is a stop button, it's up here. It's the top button on the controller. Or um, if, you, if you're using hand controllers and you drop your hands to your side for a few seconds, it'll stop recording also. But you can also, now include this uh, cool little thing here, which is the stop button. You can include a stop button in the environment. So when you move the cursor over that during a recording, it will actually stop recording that. So as you can see that, I can move it around when I'm on this screen by pulling the trigger. And I can place that anywhere I want. So if I want to put that right here, 
And then when I start recording, uh, there's a timer up here. Three, two, one. Now it's recording. It's only I'm recording so I can do my... Alas, poor York, I knew him well, Horatio, a man of a thousand jests. And then I move my finger right through that stop button. It will stop recording right there. So that's an easy way to make sure that the end of your animation is exactly where you would want it to be. And if I wanted to see that again, I could hop back in here to edit mode and I could pull up my clone and I could put him over here and I can uh, load the last um, animation. And let me show what that looks like. Okay, so he's just gonna play that animation on a loop. So I could go back in here to live mode and I could say, start recording. I don't care. Oh, we gotta wait for the timer. Three, two, one. I don't care. I don't know who you're talking about. Stop recording. That's the end of my animation. See? So that's all there is to it. So I've got these two recording. I got that one there. And if I want to uh, export my animation here, I just uh, hop right over here and I can export it. There's an option for enhancing it for um, UE4 also. Oh, let me hop into VR mode so you can see what I'm talking about. There's an option here to enhance it for UE4. When you do that, it's going to take the default animation that it exports and it's going to add a few things that basically allow Unreal Engine to, uh, to bypass all kinds of settings and, and basically make it like a, a one or two clicks to, in, to get your animation straight into Unreal uh, from Glycon. If you're going to be exporting for another 3D program, I recommend using BVH a lot of the time because that gives you um, basically more of these mocap, um, I mean, uh, 3D environments work better with BVH. So that's just something to know there. Uh, game environments almost uh, exclusively use B FBX. I, I, don't, I don't know of any game environments where BVH is a, is a, uh, a preferred format. Um, so that's basically Glycon. This is the, you're seeing the, the Quest version. No, you're seeing the Rift version right now. And this is being done on an Oculus Quest using, um, uh, using the Oculus Link system, which is really cool. Um, it should look the same on Oculus Quest. I think actually maybe a little better. I think the resolution's a little higher there. Uh, I mean, the Oculus Rift, and especially the Rift S. And um, so, so this version and the Quest version are going out today. And then later today, uh, if all goes right, I'll have another video where I'm going to show off the new tracking system uh, in the Vive version. And then the Vive version will go out shortly after that. So for more information, go to glycon3d.com or... Catch me on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash glyconvr. Thank you very much.